welcome to our NCTV audience. This is Rick Haggerty kicking it for Peace, Culture, and Education, airing each Sunday morning, 8 to 10 a.m., replaying Thursday night, 11 to 1. And welcome back, Valley Free Radio listeners. Good morning, John Michael Field. How are you? Pretty good for uh, so early in the morning. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I'm not going to complain about that anymore. Yeah, spring's that's... coming on. It's great to get up early and be with the birds. Yeah, isn't it? Uh, isn't it great? It's so great to have you back. We had a uh, we had a fun time uh, last time around. Absolutely. Yeah, this you is were great. Uh, playing your tunes and uh, enjoying uh, being on the radio. I do like this. <laughs> It's great. Well, uh, we love having you here. Now, you've got a few songs for us this morning. You want to kick it off with a tune? Sure. And uh, we're going to start. Uh, you want to talk a, about uh, Rise Up? It's a soft yeah. tune. It's good to start with a soft tune. Um, yeah, I can say something about this song. It's, it's, uh, it sort of uh, embodies the general genre of my music, which is, I guess I'd call, spiritual searching. Um, and this song pretty much is my truth, which is um, always struggling with that balance of spirit and ego, and where am I right now, and where do I want to be, and am I going to beat myself up about it, and what do I do about it, and so on and so forth. Yeah, uh, that in- internal dialogue that we yeah. uh, often struggle with, sure. All right, let me try this. Okay, and this is uh, John Michael Field uh, coming to us live at, uh, from Valley Free Radio with Rise Up. And I should probably say that it's not the Andre Day version of Rise Up, her song, because uh, uh, posting it on YouTube, I notice I get a million hits because people think they're looking at her song instead of mine. That's all right. <laughs> so dissatisfied and listless It's not that pain has beat me down cause all in all my life abounds in richness The world spins on and on and on The truth is here and then it's gone It's hollow Simply won't stand still Complacency's a bitter pill to swallow Though my mind may seem at rest My spirit's not the least impressed It's true My heart, it yearns to find a way to resonate joy each day breakthrough these troubled pieces of my mind can't reconcile what's divine but I'm trying the more I learn the less I know I guess it's just the way it goes it's mystifying guide the way the only thing that holds me back is every thought that fills my head today I look okay from outside in this kind of trouble it begins much deeper Rises up as we allow and comes to rest in the here and now, Grim Reaper. Sure, I'm thankful through and through, but real change is overdue, yet it's endless.
faith it is unqualified as I'm battling this riptide to transcend this. Does it really have to feel this bad? Why must it be so ironclad, yet uncertain? It's hard to lose your heart and soul And harder still to fill the hole that's hurting Not long ago I thought I knew Just how to weather storms that brood inside me Now it seems my life has changed and all my wisdom rearranged can't guide me. Rise up, let spirit guide the way. The only thing that holds you back is every thought that fills your head. Fantastic. Thank yeah, you so that much. Was a soft start. That was good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Very nice. Yeah, it seems like um well, I don't know, friends that really know me would would probably say that uh I'm a little too tortured with this struggling with this balance between ego and spirit and how we are in the world and uh it's it's a delicate thing. You know, trying to make our way. Yes, yes, it uh, it absolutely is. <laughs> it's one of the, one of the reasons I chant twice a day. There you go. There you go. <laughs> that's my uh, that's my thing. I mean, it's it's a big world out there. We have this relationship with ourselves, and then that uh, expands into relationship with others in the world, and then we have this relationship with spirit that I'm always talking about, and and they really are separate worlds, but of course, they intertwine, and uh, yeah, it's such a dance. Yeah, yeah, it's totally, totally. It's uh, it's it certainly is, it certainly is. Um, and uh, you know, the dance between our uh, self-empowering thoughts and empowering thoughts towards others, and disempowering thoughts uh, towards ourselves and towards others. Oh so boy. that's that's the struggle. Yeah, know? and they start when seems like the day we're born or maybe earlier our disempowering <laughs> thoughts <laughs> yeah we yeah, pop out of the womb there our parents are saying something <laughs> or else, something or other towards us yeah uh, either feeding us in a good way or a bad way sure sure well you know i think uh you know good uh, therapy like music and uh, uh fresh air sunshine exercise all that stuff Helps keep us in balance, and that's uh, that's the key, right? The the exactly goal, exactly right. Being about, in balance, um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you chant twice a day, and when I'm feeling lost, I probably play guitar. And now that I have a body of my own songs, it's great just to play my own stuff because it's sort of you can't write music unless you're in a connected spot. It's impossible to write a song if you're lost, feeling lost out there. So. So I have this body of work that was all written at times when I felt as connected to myself and the world and spirit as possible. And so just to go back and play those songs yeah. kind of zeroes me in as nice. chanting would do for you. Sure. Sure. Excellent. Excellent. Good for you. Well, just, it's, um, it's fantastic music. It's really, uh, really wonderful. And if you just tuned in, we're, uh, we're here with uh, John Michael Field, local singer and songwriter. And uh, he's playing his tunes, and we're enjoying every minute of it. This is uh, WXOJ 103.3 FM Northampton. Thank you so much for tuning in. Now, um, you've got a few songs for us today. And um, obviously, we've got uh, things to talk about as well. 
Um, Absolutely. Yeah. And um, why don't you, would you like to introduce uh, your next song? Yes. It's called uh, I Love You, which seems, oh, that brings to mind a joke. Rick, knock, knock. Who's there? Olive. Olive who? Olive you. you. <laughs> okay. You know what's coming. <laughs> I'm, I'm done with being stupid this morning. That's it. Well, it's the name of your next song, so it's, it's very appropriate. Um, this is sort of more of a personal song, but um, it still absolutely touches on spirit and, and uh, this whole difficult thing about finding a partner out there in the world, you know, who uh, connects in all the right ways. And by that I mean um, empowers our drive towards spiritual understanding, you know, versus heading, nice. the, versus yeah. heading the other direction. Right, right. <laughs> We've all been there. All right, let's try this. So very much of love lay undiscovered So much of love gets lost in what we say so we duck our heads, we running hard for cover Losing all these pieces on the way Down the road we're searching for a reason Though we'd best leave reason well enough alone Trying to figure out just why In all these moments sliding by We are still drifting far away from home It's a rare and precious thing to find your spirit Or to be precise when spirit it finds you Life's truths, they are laid bare, no need to fear it Everything is right, no matter what you do Your heart, it finds its way and fills with laughter As the healing starts within and stretches wide you can't help but smile a mile filled up with happy ever after Lifted by a love so satisfied This fool can fill our heads with wonder Love this grand is sweet beyond belief So I shake my head and pinch myself and ponder If we can stay this open wide in love so free You have become my blooming passion flower no, my bed is big enough for two It's as plain as day to me We are adrift in destiny And the words that say it best are, I love you well, It's as plain as day to me That we are blessed by destiny And the words that say it best I love you. All right. John Michael Field here at Valley Free Radio. This is WXOJ 103.3 FM Northampton, streaming online at valleyfreeradio.org. What a beautiful tune. Thank you. 
Uh, yeah, I have to say that uh, a, a pretty substantial amount of the music I've written, I honestly feel like I can't take credit from it, for it. That uh, it, from it, it or for it? For it. That it, <laughs> it came down. It came down out of somewhere in the cosmos nice. and landed in my head. And all I did was spew out the words and put a tune in there. And it seems like I really didn't put a lot of effort into writing some of these songs. Yeah, they wrote really, themselves. really, uh, really wonderful lyrics. Thank uh, you, sir. Yeah, there's so much in there. Um, uh, it's a rare and precious thing to find your spirit. Uh, or, or to, to be, be precise, precise when the spirit it finds you. Yeah, which yeah, way does yeah. it work anyway? Yeah. I mean, well, I'm talking about searching, uh, searching out spirit. I mean, we have yeah. to be open to it. Yeah, yeah. Um, For it to flow in. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, I find it's true with a lot of things in that regard. You know, finding you and as opposed to you finding it. And finding you know. good bagels somewhere, you know. <laughs> you got to be open yeah. to it. Well, I guess it. I guess. Uh, I guess it calls into question, what is what is it that we're really wishing for, or hoping for, or dreaming of, or whatever. Yeah. Sometimes it's things show up in our lives that surprise us, but yeah. in fact, deep down, it might have been yeah. what we're really hoping for. And one of my, it's not a theme that necessarily comes out in my music, but it certainly enters my head most every day. Is this whole balance of, of uh, ego in our lives. And, you know, we need to be strong to some degree uh, in order to uh, feel good about ourselves and put ourselves out there in the world and, and do good in the world. Um, but, and I see it in a, in a lot of my songwriting friends. Uh-oh, don't be talking about them now. <laughs> that... Um, yeah, you yeah. get real popular, and your ego sort of creeps in, and then all, and the next thing you know, there's uh, this underlying current which isn't so pretty because of ego. You know. Yeah, yeah. Good point. Good so point. I'm always struggling with that. Um, yeah. Like I write a song that seems like it came from the cosmos, and I feel I'm so high on it. I feel so good about it. It, it feels like such a good message to put out there in the world, and then. Um, and that feels pure, you know, sort of like a more of a spiritual appreciation of it. And then, and then my ego sort of gets in there sometimes. And it, it's it's great when it's uh, easy to spot in your yeah. life. Some of us can't even right. separate out. Right. What's well, going on? Sure. I mean that that goes back to uh, I mean a lot of a lot of chanting is self reflective, hmm. and I'm, I imagine meditating is too. There are meditative moments within that. But if we have a place of self-reflection could be you know music or exercise or you know um, spirituality or you yeah. know maybe spending time with uh, with others I think about spending time with my my students you know my middle school students it's mm -hmm. awfully self-reflective I find often how they are it's kind of lo and behold how I'm being so I need to you know follow the creed of you know the um, uh, what I, I I mean I have a, a poster on the wall social intelligence self control um, optimism zest curiosity zest. grit gratitude you know I'm asking for all of that from my students right it comes from a book about right. teaching children but right. um, I, I mean I didn't put the list together but uh, but I have it there and so I have to practice that for it to come out come out <clears> of my kids. Absolutely. Uh, you're on the spot, yeah, every day with those kids in terms of uh, behaving yourself. I was a teacher for 14 years uh, and mostly taught English. Um, nice, that's my... But one of the yeah. things that I, I got a chance to do, I'm going to put a plug in for this national nonprofit called Reading Recovery. Cool. Uh, was I got to teach the lowest kids in first grade how to read. And it's this intensive program, great, just great. 20 minutes a day. And holy cow, I got so much out of that. They got so much out of that. People would walk by my office and look in through the window, and we'd both be in there laughing and beaming <laughs> and whatnot. I mean, the That's change great. in these kids just in a matter of weeks wow. was incredible. The lowest readers in the, sure. in the first grade class, and then boom, they were on their way. Wow. Well, if you could send, send me something on that, because I'm sure. a... Uh, I'm the chairperson of special education in my school, and 
I have sixth, seventh, and eighth grade to pull out special education students. That's what I do. So yep. a lot of cases I'm teaching kids, you know, 12, 13 year old kids at a uh, second, third grade reading level. I hear you. So we should, uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, let's go back to some more music. Uh huh. And uh, I appreciate the now, uh, conversation as well. And, yeah. and, uh, and, and I feel sort of obligated to play this song because uh, I don't want to come in here and just play all this spiritual love stuff. Uh, <laughs> I want people to know that I do have a, a sense of humor, and, uh, and this song uh, demonstrates it for sure. And it's, a, uh, it's, it's, it's another love song, a frivolous sort of love song. And the title doesn't... I had written the whole song and didn't have a title, and I was I was down with my brother in uh, Kentucky, and uh, we were having breakfast, and there were the the biscuits and the gravy and the grits, and for some reason, this the title of this song came out. I said, "Oh, that's what I'll call this song that I just wrote: biscuits, <laughs> gravy, love, and grits," which it's nonsense, you know, to call it that. All right, I don't care. <laughs> what should I? Do? We are a couple of a curious kind She's a heart, I've lost my mind We fit together, heel and toe Swing your partner and a do si -do. Well it's back and forth with you and me It's a roller coaster and a sea la vie You know our jigsaw puzzle fits Biscuits, gravy, love and grits she is garlic, I'm wasabi She sips her tea, I quaff my coffee We spin through many different worlds Get together when our love unfurls Eye to eye and heart to heart It's the simple things set us apart Our friends will scratch their heads and sigh ah. This kind of love can't be described you there's a howling part in this song coming up you might want to watch the uh, sound levels Ooh, yes it's true she makes my world brand new I'm dizzy through and through and I'm ready to go howling at the moon Twirled up in a mixing bowl and measured out in heart and soul. We cannot know for sure just when love will send you on a spin. Just keep an open heart, is all. Be sure to answer if it calls. Alpaca poop, what do we know? Can we? Predict how love will grow We feel inclined to place our bets On red or black in love's roulette But the wheel goes up to 36 Which leaves us in a kind of fix Cause you know that once the numbers spin There's no guarantee that you might win Say la vie, you know our jigsaw 
puzzle fits Biscuits, gravy, love and grits Well, you know our jigsaw puzzle fits Biscuits, gravy, love and grits All right, great tune Love the howling. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and so when I play that out, you know, in a crowd of people, then they people how? just chip right yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. And so it creates this connected experience, which is great. That's fantastic. All right. Uh, as you know, people all howl differently, don't they? <laughs> I'm sure they do. That's a metaphor for If you just tuned in, uh, this is Rick Haggerty kicking it for Peace, Culture, and Education. And I'm here with John Michael Field, singer-songwriter extraordinaire. And we're enjoying the morning. Now, um, we've got to... Uh, yeah, keep an eye on the clock. Yeah, keep an eye on the time. We've got, uh, yeah, we've got about six, six minutes. minutes. So we've got a tune. Mm-hmm. And then you wanted to talk. Uh, yeah, and let's right? talk that's, a little oh, bit that's all, about that's it all one, first. Right? Uh, yeah, tick bit. This song yeah. is called Tick Bit. Yeah, okay. And uh, as are most of my others, it's written from personal experience. I first got Lyme disease, uh, I think it's been seven years now. And, uh, of course, I went through that nightmare of going to my doctor who tested me, you know, blood test. And, no, no, it came back negative. You don't have Lyme. You don't have Lyme, which is uh, just starting to change now, fortunately, that doctors are getting more Lyme savvy. So it took me a while to yeah. figure out, to get to an infectious disease specialist who said, oh yeah, you got Lyme, sure you do. Oh, okay. And it took five months of antibiotics to, uh, to knock the symptoms down so that she declared me cured. Hmm. And then two years later, I went through the same thing. Wow. Again, with another five months of antibiotics, which is no fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, 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 and now I understand that about 20% of people who get Lyme disease in the first place Never get rid of the symptoms. They're yeah. they're basically called chronic Lyme sufferers, and I'll say more about that after. And and we should talk about the symptoms. I understand fatigue, restless sleep, pain, <clears throat> aching joints or muscles, pain or swelling of the knees, shoulders, elbows, and joints, decreased short term memory or ability to concentrate, Woo-wee. speech problems. Sound about right? I can tell you about memory. I'll tell you. Well, let me tell you the story real quick. What, what'd you say? Uh, no, no, uh, memory. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Uh, memory issues. Uh, I would go to, to turn the hose on outside, right? And I'd look at the handle and I wouldn't know which way to turn it. You know, so even this intrinsic wow. memory that gets built in wow. was gone. I'd forget names. Uh, Robbie. Um, I yeah. mean, I mean, Rick. Uh, <laughs> there you go. It's crazy. So uh, have you tried anything alternative that's I been have, helpful? Because they say that there are. And, and just uh, this past Friday up in Greenfield, I yeah. saw a woman, Laura Morris, who is a practitioner of um, biomagnetic Lyme protocol therapy. Interesting. And she uses magnets to uh, affect my electrical system. And so in that way, it's sort of wow. similar to acupuncture. Yeah. Because acupuncture does sure, the same yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, and uh, we can talk a little bit more after, but probably won't be much time. And so I see yeah, her, and she's making a difference in terms of this chronic Lyme. Nice. Making a difference, uh, especially in terms of like blurry vision. It's, sure. It's cleared up since I've been seeing her. Right. And, and, and real quickly, we should say, really any time of year, if you're out in the woods, use insect repellent, um, you know, avoid the high grass, change clothes after walking or hiking, check for ticks. Mm. Uh, skin, scalp. No, no, don't go outside. Yeah, just no. protect it's yourself. Just out not there, to, right? not yeah. to go out. <laughs> Treat clothing. I know, got so. bit two months ago. I got bit in the end of February. Can you believe that they're out? That early? Wow. Yeah. That's no. That's 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 important to know. All right. So tick bit. Going to your last song. This is another funny song. You got to make it funny, right? Well, big old bullseye hit me square I sure don't like the looks of this It was a beautiful day, it 
just ain't fair. Lord have mercy, I'm tick bit. Vision blurry, can't see straight. My joints are sore, just don't quit. Headache fever, is this my fate? Now that I have been tick bit. But I could tell you This little creature oh so small Has made my life a living hell Yeah What happened to my memory It's gone away I've lost my wit My brain it works erratically Lord have mercy I'm tick bit Can't breathe deeply without hurting Dizzy nausea sits the pits who are you? It's disconcerting Now that I have been tick bit Oh me, oh my What do I spy with my little eye? Microscopic backyard malicious Craving something so delicious Forget all what your doctors say What they don't know should be crime cause you ain't gonna find a rash or figure out that you got lime well chances are they'll call it something chances are they're gonna miss and leave you with the painful truth that ignorance is seldom bliss Yeah, there are drugs to kill this guy But he's on the run, he sees them coming They pass him by while he just hides Heed my advice, get educated Before your life turns into shit Before your brain gets complicated Before you find yourself tick bit Tick bit, tick bit Before you find yourself tick bit Tick bit, tick bit Before you find yourself tick bit Big old bullseye hit me square I sure don't like the looks of this All right, wow, what a tune There you go And you're, uh, you're dealing with it So if you Google uh, a biomagnetic therapy yep. You can find all about that and, and it's term, in terms of general info on Lyme, Pennsylvania is way ahead of the rest of the country. So if you, if you uh, Google Lyme, Pennsylvania, you'll get 500 sites that are all helpful. Outstanding. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. uh, it's worth uh, looking around if you're in that you know, 10 to 20 percent of uh, chronic, uh, chronic sufferers. So uh, I want to say uh, thank you. To our uh, Northampton community television viewers, we're so happy to have you a part of Valley Free Radio, and I'm so happy to have my show broadcast there. Thank you, uh, Jen and Dave and Al Williams and uh, everybody else who has uh, made this happen. And thank you to John Michael Field uh, for being with us again today. El gusto es mío. All the right. The pleasure is mine, of course. Fantastic. And thank you, and hope to have you back uh, uh, very soon. Yeah, as long as folks don't get tired of it. <laughs> I got plenty of songs. So. All right, John Michael Field. And how about, uh, would you like to stick around for uh, my enlightening quote? Yes, I okay, would. Okay, this course. is from uh, Daisaku Ikeda, Wisdom for Modern Life. Quote, great individuals fight abuses of authority. The truly strong do not lord it over the weak. People of genuine strength and courage battle against the powerful, the arrogant, the authoritarian, the evil and corrupt, all who look down on people with contempt, mm. unquote. That's kind of what we're doing right now. Yeah, man. <laughs> Pretty much all the time. All right, we're going to say uh, goodbye to uh, Northampton Television, and we'll see you again next time.